Oppo Color OS 14 has some massive updates which might impress you. So here are a couple of updates that we think that you should take note of. For those of you that love making stickers on WhatsApp, you're going to love this feature because you can just tap and hold on a certain object in an image and crop it out to turn it into a sticker. Now this one is for those of you who love to work on their phone a lot. With ColorOS 14, Oppo has introduced a file dock system within the smart bar. What this allows you to do is to store content into the dock itself so you can use it in different apps. You can easily extract content from an article, store it inside the dock. For us, this is great because when we are writing scripts, we can copy the reference for the editing team for them to reference when they are placing the video together. And it's especially important when we need to mention specific details in the video. You also can do this with images. So if you need to paste a reference image in, let's say, a storyboard, I can collect all the reference image in one go and paste them into the storyboard at the same time rather than tabbing in and out. Think of this as a copy clipboard, but you can add many different things. Aqua Dynamics is Oppo's take on Apple's Dynamic Island. Rather than swiping down from the notification drawers to, let's say, stop your audio recording and such, you could just tap on the small icons at the top of the phone and it will expand into larger capsules for you to, let's just say, in this case, pause or stop the recording. Now, obviously, this feature doesn't just pause or play your recording. In fact, it can give you more information on your daily life. So, for example, let's say you're flying somewhere, this notification will come out at the top and will tell you basically where you're flying from and to and when will you be expected to arrive. Now, my one hope is that Oppo really works with app developers to bring Aqua Dynamic features to this phone because they have actually worked with Grab and you can see the details of your delivery, of your food delivery, or even your ride delivery coming up as that small little capsule. Now, if Oppo really goes hard with this, then it's great because we spend lesser time pulling down the notification drawer and you can, you know, enjoy a nice wallpaper. Now, sound has been the biggest focus when it comes to ColorOS 14. In fact, Oppo has went out there and researched how and why users like certain sounds and then they collaborated with sound designing companies to create the rings and dings that you will hear in ColorOS 14. The sound is more in line with the aquamorphic design which is basically taken inspiration from flowing water and just water in general. So, the sounds that it produces is not very over the top and it's something that you can perhaps turn on while you're in the office and you will not distract anyone. Now, if you want to know how they sound like, here are some samples. Also, the colouring system is updated with the ability to theme the phone based on your wallpaper. But the other side of things is that it can also theme the phone based on the time of day. So, the closer you are getting to night time, the phone goes into this cool bluish theme. Now, most of you know that Android phones have this optimization feature which, honest to God, we don't know whether it actually works out well. But Oppo has gone with a three-part thing. Now, starting with ROM vitalization, which basically is able to free up up to 21 GB of storage, which might not seem a lot, but for those of you who buy a 256 GB phone, it will seem a lot. Next is RAM vitalization, which basically tries to keep the phone as fluid as possible even if there are many apps that are running on the phone. Now, it can also keep apps running up to 72 hours without affecting performance. Finally, there is the smart charging tech which uses AI to adjust the amount of power that is going into the phone when it's charging, which in turn keeps the battery healthy for a longer time. Okay, so let's talk about Something that might sound a bit boring, but it's actually privacy. Now, there is a security feature which integrates with the privacy capabilities of Android 14, and it's a feature called Picture Keeper. It ensures that the app is not misusing permissions from your photos and your videos. I think it's safe to say that we all have pictures and videos on our phones that we don't want anyone else to see. Now, of course, all the other security features have been updated as well to complement this new update. It's hard to show you how all of this works because it's all happening in the background, but if if Oppo is dedicated to protecting your security, then all the more that this feature can only bring benefits. Now, ColorOS 14 has already started rolling out to many Oppo devices. In fact, on our Oppo Reno 11 Pro, we already have the official version of ColorOS 14. So if you have an Oppo phone, make sure
sure you check whether you have the update and definitely update your phone to ColorOS 14 so you can try out these new features. So with that guys, hope you liked this video. Don't forget to let me know what you think about ColorOS 14 down in the comments below. Don't forget to sub, don't forget to like, don't forget to share and I'll see you in the next video.